Hey there, this is Todd Collins coming to you from AE Building Systems and Alpen Windows, Alpen High Performance Products in Louisville, Colorado. So today we're gonna cover triple pane glazing done in multiple different ways and in two different frame types. So what we're gonna talk about in this section is the actual frame differences. This is the European style fixed unit. This is the European style Tyro, also Tyro called Tyro operable unit. You'll notice we've got three seals in the uh, European uh, tie roll unit. One, two, and three. That helps to make the assembly as airtight as possible. This is the Zenith or more US style fiberglass unit and this is the fixed we refer to high profile. You can see how the high profile is two and five eighths from the edge of the frame to the glass where the low profile is only one and a half inches from the edge of frame to the glass. And then finally, this is the operable zenith or fiberglass, also has three seals, one, two, and three. So this is, for example, a casement or an awning window with three seals. Yep. All right, okay, guys, uh, this is basically to show the difference between low profile and high profile. You'll see this is the fixed unit. It is uh, a fixed, high profile Zenith unit, where this is the Zenith unit and the operable. You'll see how the profiles are designed to actually mimic one another. With the low profile, we swap this out. We often mull these together, but the low profile does have a lower, uh, it doesn't quite match up where the high profile does match up with the operable units. What we'd like to mention here is the simulated divided lights. Um, they come in standard widths of seven eighths and, and two inch. The two inch is typically used where we're trying to simulate more of a mullion rather than just a, a, a simple divided light. All right, so what we're gonna cover is triple pane glazing by Alpen windows. The, First sample here is a triple pane with two panes of glass and a suspended film in the middle. You can see that's moving. That's a way to get high performance glazing with, with film instead of glazing. This next example is a true triple with uh, a, a super spacer. So it's typical glass, all three panes. And this next example is something new in the industry. We've got two thicker panes of glass and in the center is a thin glass. That would be, that thin glass is something you might find on a TV or on your, actually your, your mobile phone. All right, so what we're gonna talk about here is the spacer within the actual IGU unit. You can see this is a shiny spacer. It's made out of stainless steel. The reason we do that is because that steel is necessary in order to hold that suspended film tight. If we use, for example, this thermally broken super spacer, it's a softer spacer and it wouldn't be able to hold that suspended film tight, but we can use those when we're doing true triple. We can also use this super spacer, or this higher performing spacer, which is the super spacer, with our thin uh, glass as well. All right, so what we're gonna talk about next is quad paint. Um, here's an example of thin film to create a quad pane glass. You can see the two thin films that are in the center. We got three stainless steel spacers. The stainless steel is critical here because that stainless steel spacer holds that film tight. Here we have quad pane with one eighth inch glass on the outside, the inside, but then thin glass on the interior panes. We're using stainless steel here, but we don't need to. In fact, this is not representative typically we're gonna have the super spacer with the thin glass. All right, so one last thing here, guys. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit about gas. This is a six series unit, which means it's R6 essentially. In this unit, we're gonna be using argon gas. It's triple pane, but in order to get to the nine series, which is essentially a nine R9 window, we are using krypton gas in the IGU itself both in the suspended film as well as the thin glass. And then again, we're using argon gas in the triple pane. 